Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and before I get into this video, I really want to thank uh, Log.Zip, Vicstar, Preston, and Lachlan for playing Christmas Cram. You guys are amazing. Okay, so this video is about EMF meters and demons and portagas and all supernatural sort of stuff. Uh, so, if you don't know what an EMF meter is, it's basically a, a meter that measures electromagnetic fields. Uh, but, in the case of horror films like Supernatural, which is a TV series, they are used to measure any presence of supernatural beings. So, for example, demons, uh, it also measures ghosts or poltergeists or things like this. So, using this EMF meter, I'm going to try and locate this ghost. So, how this EMF meter works is, uh, it's basically got a needle, and the needle's going to be steady if you're not very close to the uh, supernatural being, or the understand in this case. Uh, but as soon as you get closer to it, the needle will start becoming more uh, erratic. So it's going to start moving around more randomly. So right now it's okay. Uh, what I'll do is probably edit this uh, compass on my inventory hotbar and make it a little more uh, visible for you. So I'm going to move a little closer to this uh, the field. And uh, yeah, I've summoned an armor stand somewhere here. Okay, it's starting to get a little, uh, a little jittery. So okay, so I'm getting closer. Okay, it's getting even more... Uh, even more uh, erratic. Okay, now it's getting crazy. Okay, so I'm getting close to it. Of course, I, since I summoned it, I kind of know where it is. <laughs> so uh, it's a little unfair. So, okay. Uh, Alright, it's getting crazy. So I have this reveal thing, and I'm going to try and reveal it. Okay, I missed. Alright, it's not here. Okay, uh, but I'm pretty close. I know I'm, going, I know I'm pretty close. Okay, uh, is it here? I think it's here. Alright. There we go. Okay, there we got it. Alright, so let's kill this if we can. Alright. Bam! Alright, so we killed the demon. Alright, so that's how it works. Um, basically, the EMF meter got a little crazy, so I knew where it was. So, what I'm going to do is actually summon this without invisibility, so you can see what's going to happen. So, it's giving me slowness, so I can actually measure the uh, location of this armor stand a little easier, uh, a little more accurately. So, if I walk over here, uh, you can tell the the me the needle on the EMF meter is it's still it's kind of random, randomly moving, but uh, not really. The further I move away from it, uh, it's yep. So it's steady now, but if I get a little more closer to it, uh, yep, you can see it's going a little more crazy. So as soon as I go straight above it, it's gonna start making cycles. <laughs> so you know that you're right right next to it. And as soon as I hit the reveal, it summons a demon. Okay, I'm just gonna kill it with this silver bullet sort of thing. Uh, all right. So that's how all this all this works. Uh, again, this is actually a really cool map making technique that people can use. Um, I don't know if this EMF meter th technique has been done before. Uh, compasses are kind of a little outdated now, but um, I thought it'd be pretty cool to bring it back. So I decided to make this little EMF meter. Uh, let me show you how this works. So let me. There are a lot of scoreboard objectives. Um, the redstone is just over here. I'm not going to go over it too much. So, uh, let's see. Scoreboard. There is a main scoreboard objective called uh, what's it called? Uh, EMF. Uh, okay. And the EMF score is basically it basically determines the distance between you. Well, not really the distance, but it grows a lot more quickly when you're closer to the to the armor stand. So as soon as I summon, let's see. Let's do that. As soon as I stand over here, you can see it's just, it's ticking to 1, so you're not very close to it. But as soon as I go closer to it, you can see the growth, uh, it's kind of exponential, and as soon as you go right here, this becomes irrelevant and it switches to EMF2, and uh, it's a larger number, And but it's it's more sensitive. Holy crap. <laughs> it's actually a spider in my room, and I thought I saw it. Uh, anyway, um, as soon as I go right above it, you can see the numbers are increasing a lot quicker. And uh, that determines the spawn point location. And since a compass uh, basically points to your spawn point, um, what I did was over here, what I did was I basically changed the spawn point to very random locations. Uh, so uh, as soon as the score is a lot bigger, the spawn point will change a lot more randomly. So that means the compass needle will point to more random directions. And that's basically how it all works. And uh, the reveal thing is just, if you're close to the understand, it'll execute a summon command for the Wither Boss. Whoops. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's pretty much all there is to the redstone. Um, there's not a lot involved, but uh, really, it's really, I think it's a unique 
sort of concept, so I uh, thought I might share it with you. So uh, let's try this one more time. So, bam. I think it's pretty cool. Haven't done anything with weather bosses for a while. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this concept. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more creative things like this. And thanks for watching. Take care.